OK, in this video, I will create a Dropbox that will show different selection based on your input. Let's go. First of all, we need to create a cell called Lookup. It doesn't matter how you name it. Here I find a place for the Lookup. What we look up is, look up whatever we type here, right? Here I type something first. Here I have a list. Assume this is our data source, I usually name it with a table. Let's say we call it example source. I make it inside a table because it's easier to refer to. To create a table, highlight the table by pressing the first cell, then shift and arrow down. Usually I'll go down one more cell and then control T to create the table. Here I'll take my table has headers so that the first cell becomes the column head, which is the title of the column. All right, let me see the table name, table two. All right, let's move on. You can rename the table, but I'll just leave it as it is. Here, let me search. Oops, my phone is off. Ah, uh, that's why when you pick your camera app, just be aware of that. I'm not going to cut this part because I just want to show the whole shooting process. All right, come back here. Let me name this task, search. To search the text, we need a formula in this cell. Cell J17 equals search. Here I'm prompt to find text. That means we have to enter what we are looking for, which is this ABC cell. I prefer to name the cell instead of the cell reference like N95. Here, just name it New Lookup. To create names, highlight both cells, press Shift left arrow key to select both cells, and then Control Shift F3. Simply tick the left column to name the ABC cell with the name of new lookup. Okay, now when you click ABC, you'll see the name new lookup here, right? All right, now let's search equal, search bracket. What do we put in find text? Simply look for whatever, whatever you type in this cell, which we previously named new lookup. That's the blue cell here comma, but within text, we pick the table range, let me shift and down arrow key and go down one more cell. Then you'll see table two in a square bracket. Too bad. The phone screen is off again. You might need to reset your camera app. Um, here you see table 2 example source, which has the same name as our table create early on. If you change the column name, then you'll see the new name here. Here we see that the whole column is selected and is displayed as red. Comma, and then start num, but usually I'll just skip it. Close the bracket, now you'll see a whole bunch of one and values. Since I'm searching ABC, the first one has ABC 1, 2, 3. The third one also contains ABC, right? When you move down, all that contains ABC as shown here. Here, in the new lookup, we only need all that contains ABC, which is all the ones. When we try its number, we use its number to wrap around the search. We'll see all these true and false here. What we need is the true everything in the search function is our criteria. Let's call it criteria, which is just the text that we look up. Change it to criterion because it is singular. All right, let's filter out all the trues. In Office 365, oops, let me go back to the criterion and copy the formula. By pressing Shift, hit N to select the whole thing, Control C to copy, escape, and then go back to filter. Select the table range for array, 
comma include left click here control v to paste the criteria then comma here we just skip the if empty simply close the bracket what we just did was copying the first abc the second abc and the third abc below right let's say we search def here you see it in new lookup the result is automatically reflected here def and def123 let me switch it back to abc on purpose here we see two abc123 oops it's off again since in our drop down, we only need one ABC123 for selection. That's why we have a task called unique. You may jam up the search filter and unique in a big combo formula like this. Here I'm just splitting them out for display purpose. Shift N to select the filter formula. Control C and then escape. Go underneath unique. Double click and then type your formula above. Equal. Control V to paste the filter formula just like the one you see before. I usually shift N to copy everything, control X to cut it out, and then type unique. Open bracket, wrap around the filter, and close the bracket. Then you will see the two ABC123 under filter appears only once under unique. Okay, so far we've created a unique list that is wrapped around in a combo of unique filter and search. There are two ways to create a Dropbox. One is to name this cell. But let me show you the easier way first. Let me name our task single drop. Just pretend we only have one Dropbox. Let's say in this cell, we create a Dropbox, Alt-D-L. This is the validation for this Dropbox. Simply go to allow and press list or the hotkey L. I'm just getting lazy. Hitting L. Select list, then move to source. Just move it here. Inside the source box, hit this cell once. Remember to hit the first one, but not the second one. I'll explain later. If you hit enter, you shouldn't be able to select ABC and ABC123, but only ABC, because you select this cell only. But if we Get back to Alt DL, data validation inside source box. After the cell reference, add a pound key and hit enter. Then inside the drop box, I can select ABC and ABC123. Let's say if we look up DE or just use 123, it's easier. Here we have two 123, ABC and DEF123, and we can select ABC and DEF123. Let me name a task multi drop. If I simply copy this drop box and paste it all the way here, try AB here, it doesn't work. Now try EF. That doesn't work either. Let me Alt DL to open up validation. I'm off again. I have to go to error alert here. Just get back to setting where we define the list. Error alert. Untick show error alert. Hit OK. Let's try AB. Select. Here we go. Or try G. It's still 1, 2, 3. You know what? It's silly. I haven't changed the criteria. I have to change this. I was just mixing up, so it's changed now. Just be aware of that. Let me copy this here. Let's try G again. Oops, it doesn't work. How come? Let me Alt D L. Oh, I have to untick it again. No wonder. Okay, G. There we go. A B doesn't work. Simply copy to the same column. Try A B again. It shows G options. Why? Because it looks up from this cell. Then how can I apply multiple Dropbox here? Simply go back to the new lookup. Instead of typing your search, 
use a formula called equal cell open bracket and then contents. Close the bracket, simply hit enter to ignore it. How it works is that whenever you enter anything, let's say you type ABC, the new lookup cell will become ABC. So that you can search ABC. So let's get back to our case. Let's search ABC. We see ABC options. Now, try G underneath. Click and I get G. That's the Dropbox that works based on your search. Hope it helps. Bye.